Hello, Buzzercals! Welcome back to Baldless Factorio! And hopefully today we will tackle uh, production for these guys. Uh, throughout the last episodes, let me take the car if it stands here. We managed to um, perfect uh, our setup. Um, I think for two ingredients that's probably still the best that that we can do but we do have uh, an optimized production for one item input and currently we are still sitting here on a lot of uh, gears uh, uh, let's not mow that pole down and I think today we will uh, not a must uh, today we will tackle the or try to tackle the green uh, science packs and I have extended a few more squares down here so that we should be able to do some things here. For the green signs, we need uh, circuits. We do have circuits. We have circuits up here. Uh, uh, let me show you on the map. We have circuits production here, which is not yet that great uh, because uh, input materials um, are lacking but we do produce some circuits here so uh, what else do we need uh, we need transport belts and we need inserters so we will probably set up one square for belts one square for inserters and inserters they are actually requiring three ingredients uh, we still can manage that with uh, the setup that we have for the red signs uh, but if we uh, then have more than three um, we have to think once again about how to do it and with the uh, setup that we came up with here we recognize we can further improve that uh, if we basically do not have that center because you can see the line in and out um, is to one direction so if we move that down as far as possible we might be able to squeeze in the same thing mirrored at the top and I think that's probably something uh, that I want to try so let me start cleaning this square out and then we can try to have uh, belt production here it should be the easier one Right, because that only requires iron and uh, the gears. Well, for here we also need the green circuits, which are still lacking a bit. And maybe we have to see how to get that uh, a bit uh, more fluent there. So let me put something together here and then we can have a further look uh, at how this probably new design comes together. As you can see, I managed to squeeze everything in here, fit nicely. And I also think we can even tweak this thing a bit further so that it also works if we have uh, three input ingredients because if you look here you can see 
the items going into the assembler are picked out from the ends of the wagon and if we have three inputs we also need the middle two slots so basically uh, this uh, output line would have to go to the other side of the assembler and the assemblers would uh, move to the to the middle I also have set up a train somewhere I think it's this one uh, where we have iron plates loading now it's getting the gears the first half then the second half and then going down to the assembler to deliver and in due time we will also need trains for picking the belts up uh, and to deliver them to the the place where we uh, produce the green science packs and i think the next thing we have to tackle are the inserters and uh, as mentioned we can basically reuse uh, this setup here so let's copy that and move that over to here and then i can place everything in uh, and we will have to squeeze things slightly uh, hopefully we manage here with signals and so um, but yeah we shall see how that one goes and then we only have to do one step more to have green science set up and probably we need to figure out uh, how to speed up production here because we do have still some issues with uh, trains um, so I'm not sure how I want to tackle that and I can't wait until we have electric furnaces um, to basically do not needing running around all the time filling up the furnaces with coal but um, let's fill the furnaces first and then uh, fill in there the missing pieces. The inserter factory is now also done. And one thing that I noticed which might be uh, a bit of a drawback with this design is that basically we are inserting directly from the train into the machines instead of having just there. Um, that probably could be worked around if the assemblers uh, move up a bit. But we have a long way to go so we can improve as we go along. And here on this side, you can see, uh, at least down here, we have already produced some belts. Um, and there comes another train. Then here, uh, let's grab yet another train from up top on our... dead end track and see how we can set up the things as we need them um, this one we need iron plate so let's take this one which already has some iron plates in there uh, however we will not need full cargo but 
one uh, iron plates, please. Iron plates, one thousand. And then let's have a look at. This train here? No. Maybe this one. Okay. Um, that's probably like this, and we will figure that out as we go along. Then. Pick up one, pick up two. Um, iron gear loading one, iron gear loading two. And there, uh, item count. Here it's just 500. And then here we have item count green circuits 1000. And then basically the same thing for the gears as well 500. Item count gear. This way around one thousand, and then we go to this station. Um, item count five hundred. So we half empty it and then we go to the basic insert delivery to empty cargo. Right. That should work out as expected, hopefully. And how are we looking here? Yeah, we do probably have enough uh, gears in there to load that train. That's our red science train. And speaking of signs, um, I think these trains are getting half full. So now it's time to build up the green signs. We will do that down here. And basically we will copy the design that we have there with the two ingredients. So let me copy this whole thing uh, move that over ah, it's like this and these ones we don't need the signals here on the side because they are problematic anyway do the same on the other side as well and it's easier to add them than from the blueprint right so let's copy that in again here, 
here and there and then on this side here here and there again and then let's remove those tracks once again and this one all right now it's just a matter of uh, putting everything in setting up the machines correctly and setting up yet another train and green science production is done so now all that we need to do is organize ourselves a train um, that will deliver the materials so we need um, Why do we have yellow belt loading one three time and the other two time? So here, item count, yellow belt, yellow belt, you're in here. Um, 1000. And then yellow belt two thousand. And then we go for basic inserter item count. Um, 1000 and second station um, full cargo then we go to green assigns delivery item count yellow belts 1000 and then we go to delivery two empty cargo that should work well, let's run over here to see Yes, we are loading. Actually, we should have enough. Yeah, we can see that's that's working. And then over here, we did not have a delivery because that train is stuck up here. And that's probably because we did not have a train delivery for uh, this one is stopped and we have two trains loading there so that will still take a while but 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 that should be okay so that means uh, we can set up this train remove everything here everything is red because it's on the wrong uh, line pick up 
the green ones, item count, uh, green science pack, 2000, and then go to the second one, item count, uh, no, full cargo. Um, yeah. I have to head over there and get him out, uh, uh, unstuck, by reversing out, and while on the way, place some more coal where it's needed. So, this direction, just head straight down and then go to there. Nice! And I moved two auto trains out of the way. Those are the green signs ones uh, because they did not have a proper destination set up. But now I would expect that we eventually will get some green signs. Um, red signs. Ooh. Does signs stack to 200? Science stacks to 200, that means one train can hold not 4,000, but 8,000. Which means this one wants to be 4,000. And up there we have another train run out of fuel. Oh, let's figure that one out. Yeah, and that's actually the one we are waiting for. Uh, for our green circuits. And that's probably the other one. Yes. Alright. That starts moving again. And hopefully soonish we shall see green science pack produced and then of course we need a station to unload it and put it into a lab array and we will see where and how we can do that next time until then goodbye